I'm Lisa from Dig Ventures and welcome to our first ever Dirty Weekend. Everyone's down on the foreshore now getting a tour of the history of this amazing site here in Bermondsey. We're working with the Thames Discovery Program, the world authorities on this very special kind of archaeology. I'm sure that all will be revealed to later when we scrape some more off, hopefully, and there's an expert on her. I'm passionate about archaeology, and here in Bermondsey is particularly interested by mine because that's where my family comes from. Well, Dirty Weekends was an idea that came about as a result of our summer dig when we saw so many people come up to Flag Fen and just have an amazing time over the course of two days. We have our lovely, lovely frog ventures who are just prowling and cleaning away the top of all of these and we're just going to expose them. And they're actually doing a really, really good job. And for most of these people, it's their first time. I wish I was this good when I first started. <laughs> We've got here is a uh, gridiron, uh, which is uh, a structure for uh, barges to sit on at low tide uh, so they can be maintained. And this has been constructed out of reused warship timbers, probably from the 18th century. So what we're doing at the moment is called tape and offsetting, we're planning these ships' timbers at a scale of up to ten. And what we do is we put a, a baseline all the way along the side of here, across this grid iron, and we take the working groups of three, and we measure from this baseline, and we measure all the points along the timber, and then we create a plan in 2D on the permit tray. Natalie, how do you think things went this morning? Really, really good fun. Um, we had a lot of uh, discoveries. We had lots of people finding, some, in fact, some new timbers that we hadn't seen before, which was really exciting. I'm enjoying my post foreshore pint. <laughs> but um, what we're doing now is uh, we're going to go and have a look at some finds that they've collected from the shore. I, after that, I'm going to be talking about our top 10 favourite things about the Thames Discovery Programme. Well here we are, the beginning of day two, and I don't think we could have planned for better weather than this. I can barely believe it's February. Um, there's hardly a wave on the Thames. The tide's just going out at the moment. And it's just about exposing the site that we found yesterday. And we're starting to work out what these various bits of timber are. We seem to have uh, a few pieces of keel, the spine of the ship right down at the very bottom, and pieces of stern post rising up at the very rear of the vessel. And very little sort of bits of giveaways of the sort of date of the vessel. There are some copper nails in the keel, which is telling us that it would have been copper plated. That sort of comes in in the late 18th century. And from the size of these timbers, it looks like we're looking at something like this. A third-rate 74 gun ship of the line, which would have served in the uh, Napoleonic Wars. So this was a fantastic opportunity um, to really find out, really get my hands dirty with, um, with, with the foreshore archaeology, with the world's experts. Perfect. Dirty weekend. Come get stuck in, get dirty, learn some archaeology and have a great day.